Okay. Meron ngayon tayo dito ng sample problem for electric field intensity adopted from engineering electromagnetics by height. So sabi sa problem, find the electric field intensity at point P with coordinates 1 and 1 caused by four identical three nanocolon charges located at point 1, 110, point 2, negative 110, point 3, negative, negative 1, negative 10, and point 4, 1, negative 10, as shown. Okay, na-discuss na sa atin na when we have, uh, when we are looking for the total electric field intensity at a given point, caused by four point charges or multiple point charges, ang gagawin lang natin is, from the formula, i-add lang natin yung electric field intensity ng bawat due to um, individual point charges. Then we will sum them up. So, kaya nga yung formula natin is naka-summation. Okay, summation ng M, uh, ng QM, yung charges, all over 4 pi times the permittivity of free space times the magnitude of the um, directed line segments from the kung saan tayo nagsimula or what point we are observing the electric field intensity papunta dun sa point charges isa-isa, then the magnitude squared times the direction papunta dun sa uh, point charge from m equals 1 to n. Okay, we are given that magme-measure tayo ng electric field intensity sa point 111 and we are given na uh, yung point charges are identical. Ibig sabihin pare-parehas yung charge nila which is 3 times 10 raised to negative 9 column or 3 nano column. We are, so, we are also given the points kung saan nakalocate itong mga charges na to, respectively, Q1 for P1, Q2 for P2, Q3 for P3, and Q4 for, for P4. Okay, from the formula, kailangan natin na kunin muna yung mga um, R or yung mga vectors na maglo-locate sa mga sa ating point charges and yung point P itself. Okay, since given tayo itong mga points na to, yung dudo and pen yung vector R na Vector R natin ay equal yan sa si yung point natin na P ay 1, 1, 1. Opihin lang natin. Yun yung magiging coefficients ng or scalar components ng vector R. So, AX plus AY plus AZ. Galing yan sa 1, 1, 1. Hindi na isusulat yung 1, 1, 1 kasi nga 1 siya. Pwede natin i-omit. Okay, then yung R1 natin is kukunin natin sa point 1. So we have AX plus AY, then wala tayong AZ. Yung R2 natin, equal yan sa negative AX plus AY. Then yung R3 natin, is negative 1, negative 1, 0. So, negative AX minus AY. Then, wala ulit Z. Then, lastly, for R4 or vector 4, that is 1, negative 1. So, AX minus AY. Wala ulit Z. Okay, nakalimutan kong lagyan ng bar yung mga taas nito. Pag handwritten, wala. Sorry. Dapat may bar sila to distinguish them as or identify them as vector to distinguish them from scalars. 
pati na rin itong mga unit vectors natin. Lagyan natin. Okay. Then, dun din sa example, is important din, or nakalagay din doon, yung magnitude. Or yung directed line segments mo na pala. So, una na dyan yung R minus vector R1. Ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yung directed line segment from this, yung resulta ng dalawa. R and R1. So, AX minus AX cancel yan. AY minus AY cancel. AZ minus 0 is AZ. Therefore, we have AZ for R minus R1. <laughs> Excuse me. The next, gawin din natin yan for R1, R minus R2. So, we have R AX minus negative AX, that is AX plus AX. Dalawang AX. So, 2 AX. Then, AY minus AY is 0. AZ minus 0 is AZ. Meron tayo, positive AZ. Next, R, vector R minus vector R3 equals AX minus negative AX. That is positive 2 AX. Then, AY minus negative AY, that is also positive 2 AY. Then, AZ minus 0 is positive 1. Ano ba yan? AZ. Okay. Then, for R minus R4, AX minus AX is 0. AY minus negative AY is 2AY. So, 2 AY. AZ minus 0 is positive AZ. So, ito yung mga directed line segments from the point charges to the point P kung saan natin minimeasure or kinukuha yung electric field, field intensity. Now, kunin natin yung magnitude nila. So here, the magnitude of R, vector R minus vector R1 is AZ lang yan. So, square root lang ng 1 squared. 1. So, the magnitude ng R minus magnitude ng magnitude ng R minus R2 ay square root yan ng 2 squared plus 1 squared or 4 plus 1 that is square root of 5. Dito, magnitude ng vector R minus vector R3 ay square root ni 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 which is 1 squared, sorry. 2 squared a 4, 2 squared a 4, 1 squared a 1. So, 4 plus 4 plus 4, 9. Squared of 9 is 3. Then, lastly, yung magnitude ng vector r4, r minus r, vector r4. Ano daw? Magnitude ng r minus r4 i. Squared ng 2 squared plus 1 squared. That is 4 plus 1, 5. So, square root of... Ah, sorry. Napindot ko yung erase. Square root of 5. So, tanda natin yung mga yan. So, ito, kakailanganin pa rin natin itong mga magnitude na to. Ay, itong mga vectors na to. Directed line segments. Mga yan, pag kukunin natin yung unit... Or yung direction, yung unit vectors. Yung magnitude natin is 1 square root of 5, 3, and square root of 5. Yan. Now, dahil nakuha na natin itong mga to, okay, punta na tayo dun sa formula. Ano ba yung formula natin kanina? Sabi natin that 
electric field intensity is equal to summation ng QM or the charges all over 4 pi permittivity of free space. Okay, directed line segments, magnitude of directed line segments, tapos in their, ay, sorry, sorry, walang square to, in their respective direction from M1 to N. Okay. Meron time property sa summation na kung saan yung constant, pwede na natin ilabas. Kasi pwede addition to, diba? And kung common naman yung term, o yung constant na yun, pwede natin i-factor out. So, pwede kong i-factor out si 4 pi e o or yung 4 pi times permittivity of free space. And, yung QM din, di ba, identical naman sila, pare-parehas sila na 3 nanocolumn. So, pwede ko rin siyang il ilabas. So, pwede kong i-simplify, actually, ito. Okay, pwede natin ilabas si QM kasi constant siya, pero not all the time, ha. See, for this example lang kasi nga, pare-parehas sila, identical. Pero pag hindi niya sinabing identical, huwag niyong ilalabas. Ito lang yung pwede niyong ilabas kasi si 4 pa EO, constant naman talaga yan. So, pwede ko na ngayon ilabas. Si QM is constant which is, I mean, pare-parehas. 3 times 10 is a negative 9 or 3 nanocolumn divided by 4 pi times yung exact value ng permittivity of free space is 10 raised to negative 9 all over 36 pi. Then, multiplied to the summation of, so matitira na lang dito, 1 all over yung magnitude times yung direction from m equals 1 to n. Okay. Or actually, gawin na natin siyang 4 kasi apat lang yung. Ayan. Gawin na natin siyang 4. Okay, simplify ko lang muna itong nasa labas. Itong pi, magka-cancel out lang. 4, cancel. May matitirang 9 dito. So, 9, 1 over 9, times 9 is a negative 9. Or pag nilagay natin sa calcu itong expression sa labas or yung constant sa labas, mag equate yan sa 27. So, ang electric field intensity natin is 27 times 1 all over the magnitude of R minus Rm squared from M equals 1 to 4. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong mga to, sinulong na natin kanina. Okay, actually, ito sila. Ayan. Ito yung mga magnitude. And, okay, ilagay ko lang dito. Diba ang formula natin for unit vector, for example, ang unit vector na the direction of R1 ay equal lang yan sa R minus R1 all over the vector itself all over the magnitude of the vector. So, magagamit pa rin natin itong mga nandito. What? Okay. So, next slide tayo. Ay, oh, hindi. Um, paano ba? Burahin ko na lang. Okay, burahin ko sila. Mm, tira ko lang ito. Kasi na-simplify na natin. Yan yung simplification niya. And then, ililipat ko na lang siya dito sa kabila. Nang mas maayos. So, sorry, eraser pa rin. Ang, ang electric field intensity natin ay 27 summation of 1 all over R minus Rm squared. Okay, actually, pwede na natin palitan yung, dito that product ha, yung tura lang ng multiplication. Pwede na natin palitan yung unit vector. Gawin na natin R minus Rm 
all over r minus u magnitude of the vector okay from m equals 1 to 4 burahin ko lang yun sa baba Then, we can further simplify this. So, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi pa ako naglalagay yun muna ng values hanggang hindi ba nasa simplify. Kasi ito pwede pa ulit simplify. Kasi parehas naman itong magnitude. So, magiging cube siya. So, R minus RM cube magnitude ng r minus rm cube. Ayan, pwede na tayong mag-substitute. So, una, ibig sabihin ng from m equals 1 to 4 summation, i-add mo, unahin mo muna yung m equals 1, tapos m equals 4. Ibig sabihin, r minus r1 all over r minus r1, ang magnitude ng r minus r1 cube, then plus r minus r2 all over magnitude ng r minus r2 cube, plus, and so on, so forth, hanggang 4. Or, Nakamadali, isulat ko na nga lang. So, electric field intensity equals 27 times R minus R1 all over the magnitude of R minus R1 cube plus R minus R2 all over the magnitude cube plus R minus R3 all over the magnitude cube plus R minus R4 all over the magnitude cube. Substitute natin. Gamit yung mga values na nandyan sa taas. Ang R minus R1 natin ay AZ. So we have here AZ. Ang ating magnitude is 1. So 1 cube. Plus R minus R2 is 2 AX plus 2 I sorry AZ divided by the magnitude is square root of 5 square root of 5 cube plus R minus R3 is 2 AX plus 2 AY plus AZ divided by the magnitude is 3, then cube. Pang-apat or last, 2AY, siya si R minus R4, plus AZ all over the square root of 5 cube. Okay. Ang gagawin na lang natin is simplify ito and then pagsasamahin natin yung mga pare-parehas ng direction. Okay. Equals 27 times ang AZ divided by 1 AZ plus ito so we have 2 all over square root of 5 raised to 3 i excuse me no Okay, yung 2 over square root of 5 then cube is 0 0.18 ax. Yung 1 all over square root of 5, 1 lang yun, di ba? Okay. Ay 0 0.09 plus 0 0.09. The decimal corner plus 
yung 2 all over 3 cube, 2 divided by 27, 0 0.07 ax plus parehas 0 0.07 ax, ay uh, y, sorry, plus 1 all over 3 cube ay 0 0.04. 0.04 AZ plus so itong dalawang to parehas lang yung coefficient dun sa nauna so yung 2 over square to 5 cube ay 0 0.18 pero ito AY siya AY AY plus 1 all over 5 cube is uh, Ayun, ayun yung magbura. Ayan. Plus 0.09 AC. Okay. I-add natin yung mga pare-parehas. Ito na lang, siguro sa taas. So, yung mga may AZ is ito. Ang tayong 1 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.09 ulit. Multiply it by 27. Ah, wait lang. Mali yung sakit. Okay. Saan na tayo? Ayan. Ito na lang sa taas ha, yung simplification. Pero ang gagawin lang naman natin, ayan o. No? I-add na lang natin yung para-parehas. Unahin na natin yung AX. So, si AX, meron siyang 0 0.18 plus 0 0.07 plus wala na, yun lang. 0 0.18 plus 0 0.07 Then, i-multiply na rin natin yung 27 sa labas. So, makukuha natin yung 6.75. Tama ba? Yun lang. Ito lang ba? Ito. Ito lang yung may AX. Tapos, ito. Ay! Ano yung binura? Ito lang yung may AX. Ito. May, may, may AX pa ba? Thanks, AZ, AZ. Wala na. Ito lang. So, 0 0.18 tsaka 0 0.7 lang. 0.18 plus 0 0.07 times 27 yung nasa labas. 6.75. 6.75 sa direction ni <laughs> sa direction ni X. Yung Y so, meron tayong 0 0.07 plus 0.18. So, parehas siya. 6.75 din pag minultiply yung 27 sa labas. So, 6.75 A A Y Then, lastly, yung nandito sa dulo ay yung AZ. So, meron tayong 1 sa unahan, tapos 0 0.09, tapos meron pa 0 0.09 sa dulo. So, 1.18 times 27, that is 31.86. Double check, 1 plus 0 0.09 plus, ah, meron pang 0 0.04 pala, plus 0 0.09. 9. So, 1.22 times 27, 32.94. So, we have 32.94 sa direction ni Z. So, ito na po yung electric field intensity natin at point P11 given yung 4 identical 3 nano 
column charges and their positions. So if you have questions, paki PM na lang sa Google Classroom.